say um, there's been no easy match. There are no pushovers at any of these tournaments anymore. Oh, that's up at the edge of the area. Sorry, Chris, a bit. As you see it again, handling the ball outside the box. See it from this angle. Just in the deep. Left footed. Oh, oh he's just put it just wide. Done. Good chance. Farley or Garner. Who knows? Well, here comes Garner. Is that a penalty? It's So, well, judge for yourself. Definitely got a piece of the ball there, uh, Tambora. Shot, there's it all. Gonna lead one goal to nil. Driven the hard to the keeper's left. Excellent penalty. No mistake there. From and I was wrong. I didn't take a moment of brilliance, but. Uh, We've added time. Garner making sure they uh, try and protect this lead. It's at the edge of the area. Still Mali hovering around the top of the area looking for the shot. Keeper comes for it again and Dowda. And indeed the referee from the Ivory Coast blows up for half time here at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium. Penalty spot. Chris, uh, you're searching for more offense as we're underway then. Gone. Now being asked of Mali, I, I, I said uh, two or three times in the first time, I thought that uh, Maiga will, will get stuck in. He's coming back having missed the 1-0 uh, win over Niger with a fire in. in. Floated in, it's not a bad effort. Here's Mali. Mali looking to get it towards goal, it's too close to the keeper, although deep into the part of the penalty area and the keeper quarterfinals, you would think, going into the last kick of the game. And indeed it is. It's all over here at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium. They had to chase in the second half. They were the goal behind at the break. They didn't really show it. You wouldn't want to lose this match today. Anyone who loses here, intervention. I'm not sure that God will uh, well, he can't take help. sides here. He can't help you both. Bringing you this match live from Port Elizabeth, South Africa. Inside the box! Little pass shot! Oh! oh. Cross bar. Hey. Properly is now reduced to about half a metre. Oh, straight down the middle. Can he get there first? He can. Guillaume with oh. the shot and he drags it wide. What's a terrible finish. Well, he might well hold his head in his hands. I can almost hear the cheers coming out of Sunderland. Well, look at the fire's face. Now it looks good kill. There's the pass. Clearly onside. Clearly onside, and he just... Will it be Garner who gets the go-ahead goal? Oh, not the through ball! Is that it in the goal? Oh, it's in the back of the net! It's 1-0 for Garner! As uh, Badu slots the ball home on the 40th minute, and Garner have taken the lead! Look at that. Super flick. Super flick. Yeah, there uh, it is. The awareness to... Pull it back, and shall we? From the corner. So a man down. The Congolese corners to the back post. It's 2-0, oh, it's 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 ladies and gentlemen. The corner in the second minute, third minute of the second half. And there you have it. 2-0 is a mountain to climb for the Congo now. Don't hear your comments, etc. Share your feelings. Damien McCall, D-A-M-I-A-N, M-C, A-L-L. Twitter or at Cam13 for your comments. Uh, and that's it! Two goal. Go. Brilliant goal from Abutu! They pull back! It, what a great piece of opportunism from him and the man's genius. One of the best players in Africa without a doubt. He's got the reputation. I know you can see why. What a great little goal that was. He stole it. Fabulous 
riposte from the Congolese. Super little through ball. Split the defence. And a slide ball finish from Mputu. Yeah, brilliant from Akiadi. Oh, finds a bit of space. Can he get a goal though? Oh, dearie me, another really bad miss from the... Oh, 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 oh. oh, penalty! Penalty on 66 minutes for Congo. A drama here at the Port Elizabeth Nelson Mandela Stadium. Because Ghana, who were winning 2 0, are now facing a penalty. And Makani was pulled as a clear shirt pull here. These are their seats. I bet you can't look in Ghana. 2-2, and Bacardi slams it, well slaps it, to the right after selling, sending Dowder the wrong way, and they drop into that little dance, and look, there you are, the bump shuffle, the bump shuffle. ...way today, and uh, that was a clear penalty, the, the uh, defender had uh, hold of his shirt, middle distance running now, corner comes in, oh, oh my word, he nearly caught Kitty Arbor out, so Kitty Arbor, yeah, it hit, because that was almost a goal right in the centre. Cross towards the back post. There's a chance. Oh, oh. It was over the line. Well, like it was over the line. He's appealing. I'd like to see the replay of that. My word. Another look at it. Let's see if. Shots uh, deflected, it's still in Morocco possession and a good, good save there. Flick towards goal, it was a oh, good save as well. Great chance for Morocco. Lama tipping it over the bar. Yeah, and Golan's uh, leaving too much space in the midfield. Defence are playing very deep at the moment. Great curled towards the far post, the keeper's out for it. He makes a mess of it. And oh! Flick wide with the keeper out of position. It's a substitute of all people. Will Hermie, the keeper, came for it as you see it again. Completely made a mess of it. Over the ball, couldn't quite control it. Good cross. Oh. And Manucho couldn't find the target. Will Hermie was there as well. That was a real chance, wasn't it? It's the, uh, the better side on the day. Absolutely, Greg. And, uh... There are the home stadium and soccer city sweat all. If you're just joining us, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great moment. The rain is pouring down here on Soweto. For well, the African Nations 2013 is underway. Only rain as the last uh, African government from near the corner spot. As uh, Sabala gets it. Oh, head just wide by the number 11. Matlaba. Slick series of passes there. Oh, oh. beautiful ball. This is going to be a goal. Oh, just wide. What a great move from Cape Verde. And the shots agonizingly wide for that bottom left hand post. He really ought to have done better. And look at Sofa. Lucho Antunes. Oh! Oh, just fingered wide oh. there by the South African keeper, who's furious. Could have themselves proud by holding steady, getting a point. But off, ladies and gentlemen, of course, Nigeria. And you have a meat and drink. Yeah, Mara Maccabi, Tel Aviv, Israel. Oh, on the edge of the box, coming in. Oh. Yes, 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 it's 1-0 for Nigeria. It looks like Moose has got the, got the go-ahead goal. Or was it uh, an Yemma there? Tony not in the header. It's a chance. Oh, Marizou de Garno. And the shot <sighs> tipped wide by the goalkeeper. Nice. Yeah. Down the middle of the Nigerian defence. You feel that? 
Oh, is this going to be the goal? Yeah. And blasted wide. Dear me, Uche. Have they got the quality? For to us to really goal? praise them, yeah, they've got to get the goal. Well, that was a knee in the head there. He's on a yellow card. He wants to watch his step because they'll be down to 10 men if he does that again. It is off. He's going to be off. That's a red card. Nigeria are down to 10 men. The referee must understand. He is. He's off. And he deserves it. He needs the boy in the, in the forehead running past him. I don't know if it was uh, accidental, but that was very dangerous. So, Ambrose... Red card for two yellows, and with 20 minutes to go, with 15 minutes to go, no. Oh, into the box, now it's a chance. Cut back, and a shot from the, from the edge of the box, but Nigeria might have been better served. Remember Italy, France, oh, when Italy decided not to go into the, into the corner, and France won the blooming championship. Yeah. Well, here we go, they're into the box. What's he going to do? Oh, yes. oh. oh. Should have gone into the corner and they didn't. It was the same scenario over and again, and it looks like the number 11 betrayed. Edu Keita. Whipped in towards the apart and, and it's fallen another. for Keita. Oh. Oh, and he's put it in. Dude. It was a mistake from Dauda Kasali, but Mali finally have that goal. And that was the chance that they were waiting for. They've come close on a number of occasions in the second half, but Seydou Keita, the captain, making his sixth African Cup of Africa Cup of Nations appearance for Mali, gets the opening goal. And that is a huge, huge goal for Patrice Carter on side. Yes, definitely. And he's uh, always good, definitely good for a team. But that tells you, you know, a lot when he's uh, this kind of player. Keita, thinking about his country, obviously, but there's this long ball. Again, this mistake coming from the goalkeeper. He had, he had, uh, he had done it already twice. This is the third time, you know. And then he could have catch a punch it. But he again, was weak on this ball. And there's no chance when the ball... 1-0 the score, Mali beating Niger by the, the slimmest of margins, Seydou Keita with the key goal that bends from the majority of the game.
sandy, very arid, and uh, I'm afraid that that might play an important part in this confrontation. But there, uh, Emmanuel Adebayor, the front man, against uh, Cape Verde. Looking, uh, they didn't look that good, in fact. I was expecting a lot more from them. Cape Verde, very unlucky. They had a lot of possession in the second half, and they really did uh, uh, tease the, uh, the goalkeeper. Near post, there and it is. it's a goal! And it's that young man in number 11, Detroit Bar with the header. It's 1 0 to Burkina Faso. Fantastic, that was great, wasn't it? Front post, but the marking. It was terrible. If we actually have a look at that again, Petroipa, second goal of the tournament, fantastic header, and he really met it so well. It was beautiful, the corner coming over, and he, it was just, it was a glancing header. The goalkeeper didn't have a chance, I guess. Sir. A perfect header from Petroipa. Well, I was just saying a few moments ago, I'd like to see him score the header it was. First class finish. Yeah, he was backpedalling as well, and uh, it had power, it had direction, and he was up in the air. That wasn't easy. That was That's not an easy... And surely, that that's is... it. Burkina Faso are in the semi-finals against Ghana. The other semi-final, of course, Nigeria against uh, Mali. So that's your final four, ladies and gentlemen. Burkina Faso, the outsiders, have made it to the last four. Their goal coming on 115 minutes from Petroipa at the near post. Well, white strips with their uh, very recognizable. Then to him seven months ago, and he is respected as a great motivator. And uh, we've, we've started off now, we'll hope to see whether he can uh, motivate. They were so all well. hoping for it at the near post and it went a bit too far. So bad delivery of that dead ball. He was saying, get forward, come on. So here they are on the break. There's a couple of men down, but they've got to go for goal here. And it's two against two on the edge of the box. Can they take advantage here? And it's going to be the goal. It's 1-0. And that man, Ranti, with the Petri. opener. Well, end-to-end -end stuff, that is a textbook end-to-end. -end. One moment that Mali are on the attack, uh, they didn't make the most of that free kick straight through the goalkeeper, right up the sails, looking as if it's pointing in the direction of South Africa. Here is the goal again. The cross comes in and Ranty and bounces like a fox, bounces, from bounces in the back of the net. It's 1-0. Ball comes over to the number 18. It was lovely from Malangu, played in and then far... Nice little through ball. Again, on the edge of the box here, we're into the box, can they get across him? There's, there's only one player in it. Oh! What is on this? What a piece! And there you are! Dreadful defending! And there was only one man in there, it's that man Seydou Keita, the former Barcelona super sub, has made it one apiece here in Durban. Ghosted in there, close range. Header bundled in in the end, but... Uh, Mali, lovely ball out to the left. Nice cross, Vlam, Seydou Keita nodded down past the keeper and it's one apiece here in Durban. They'll enjoy that a lot less, the South Africans. Can you keep his nerve, Chabalala? South Africa Left sends footed. the keeper the wrong way. Very confident, as yeah. did Chabalala. And Oof. he sends Cooney the wrong way. He waited well. till Cooney committed himself and Vlam. It's one apiece. And he's and been saved! The second South African penalty. Oh, he got a fingertip to it. But uh, silence falls over the stadium again as Tambori. Dave. So here comes the third penalty, and it's a crucial, crucial penalty. And he's been saved again! This doesn't give him the victory yet. And it's been scored. It's 3 1 after three penalties. Up he steps. And he's missed! Marley! Mali are in the semi-finals, ladies and gentlemen. It's all over here in Durban as the Malians 
run on in celebration after two hours of football and one heck of the penalty shootout where it all fell flat for South Africa. The Today, they were out of the tournament for 30 years, uh, 31 years to be precise. Just about to uh, start play and uh, a kick off. Playing left to right. Chance here, it's flicked towards goal, it's in, oh it's got over, what a chance, what so a chance close. Indeed. Just over the crossbar with the keeper beaten, how unlucky. And a very lucky, just a, oh here's a real chance, there's players forward, top of the box, what can they do with it? Oh he's brought down, it's going to be a penalty, and it is, Ethiopia for a penalty, can you believe it, Saladin was brought down. My word, it's the number three from Zambia, who was guilty, Sunda, beg your pardon, Lungu, the referee had no choice. This match is already a tr- put Ethiopia in front, he saved it! And when he saved it! Oh dear, heartbreak is the penalty, and we need- He made it. You see now the Ethiopian spirit is not broken in any way, Greg. That's Either true. Way after those two mishaps. So, although he couldn't really do much about it, it's behind the defence. The flag stays down. It's put wide. A collision between the goalkeeper Jamal and the uh, Zambian player. Jamal has gone down injured. The referee is coming out. What's he going to decide? Came out with his boot raised. Oh dear. It was chipped past the post. It's a red card. Jamal's been sent off for Ethiopia. So a huge blow. Flip forward. Still tight. That's a good little ball inside. Lovely play. And on goal. There's the opener. What a cracking goal it was. 1 0. Irvin Renard. Is motionless, but that was a brilliant piece of football. Embasuma finished it off, and Zambia lead on the stroke at half time. And just in the nick of time, for left footed. The perfect goal. That was the key moment. Chance's header. Zambian player. And the other three are relatively minor clubs. Saladin inside in Egypt. Chance here perhaps, Ethiopia! Oh, it's not in a sequizer! Can you believe it? <laughs> this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Just as we were saying, Zambia cannot clinch this Ethiopia spirit unbroken, and now they've crowned it with a goal, Greg. Wow, wow, wow. They'll be celebrating in Ethiopia. They're celebrating here. And Ethiopia got the reward. They deserve from a great performance here today, and it set up a thrilling finale. As you said, this is fully deserved after a very unlucky first half. And they are now... Half. They defied the odds. They battled right to the final whistle, and they got their just rewards. Well, they... favourites to win this one against Niger. It's the first meeting of these sides at full international level. Go can go really a long way if they win tonight. Well, players have been played, kept like children by the Federation. But now things are different. They've got a great draw in their first match and we're off. For Matt Nagel, he was strong as he gets a very good return midway through a season. But there's a possible upset. Niger! Oh! It's killed against the post. What a start that would have been for the side coach by it. And the centre of defence by Mabiala. Oh, he fell asleep completely. He should have done better when he hit the post, but he had all the time. 
and if, if that's not something to live up to, I don't know what is. Is that that man, Mubakani, in with a great chance, a good save that time by Gasali, who just turned it away from the on rushing DR Congo. He placed outside of the boot. No offside, so much space, and uh, yeah, you have to say, good stop from Gasali. And he played. Well, three hits, one hit. Well, the Congo must make the most of this. So Mubakani! Sully again, brilliant in the Niger goal, the villain of their defeat. Yeah, super safe because uh, actually Bacardi did pretty well there. But look at that one defender, three attackers. Suddenly that uh, Niger defense opening up. Superior class and experience on the pitch, and it looks like it's going to be on even. Indeed, it is. Historic night for Niger. They've uh, won their first ever points at the Africa Cup of Nations, and finally we see a smile breaking through on the face of Gernot Raw.